Well, hello. Not my usual intro. Not my usual game today. Uh, today was supposed to be Games Revisited. I was supposed to have be all set for Portal 2. And, uh, yeah, ain't none of that happening today. Uh, just not, not quite feeling it today. So, instead, I'm going to take... I should probably take the Prismarine out. Yeah, you know, ah, I'll put all this in community storage. I am going to go assemble a crossbow, maybe two, and uh, and then just do some more lighting around the cave. Uh, really, it's just uh, kind of one of those days where uh, I, I didn't want to not stream. I also didn't want to fall through the floor there. Uh, I didn't want to not stream, but I wasn't feeling much else. And yeah, so... Welcome to today. Where's uh fiber right oh there we go. Still trying to get used to where everything's located. I'll drop that prismarine off there for now. Oh we do have oh, we got a little bit of dark prismarine. I, I might go take a stab at that for a little bit too. Uh I'm gonna need uh, Bunch of these guys. I really need to hurry up and do this before a bottle accidentally gets stuck in there. Ah, we'll call that enough for now. Alright, so there all that is. I'm gonna need some emeralds, some books, and to repair all this. Uh, I'm still looking a little worse for wear from our uh, guardian farming uh, this past Tuesday. That uh, <laughs> that 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 was a special day um, uh, on multiple counts. Uh, oh, that's got my extra gear. That I'm taking caving. Um, you know what? I just might try my luck without a chest plate and just leave the uh, leave the wings on all right anything in here that I absolutely need no yeah that'll be okay okay we'll drop that in there I need my bow and some arrows and a shovel and an axe and a gimli quote from uh <laughs> The wonderful, wonderful <laughs> Peter Jackson, Lord of the Rings. All right, what else do I need? I need my combat and armor box because I also, you know what? Let's uh, let's disenchant this guy and then see what we can get in terms of enchantments. Uh, I've got an extra stack in my backpack if I remember that and push comes to shove I can always dig out an ender chest and get that squared away uh, Has everything made its way through here yet? No stuff is going through this part of the system All right Where's um uh, I need a grindstone over here All right have to add that to the list. Uh, ooh, I've only got six levels. I hope I can get all the enchantments. I, uh, well, no, I'm going to fix that. I'll fix that with some trading as soon as, uh, as soon as that light goes out. So yeah, it, it's just going to be a casual day. Uh, I'm, you know what? I might just repair my stuff and ah, that'll last. I'll take my chances. I'll put together the amazing crossbow another day. Let's, uh, let us actually equip that. Let's hang on to that. Let me go grab a couple more ender paroles. Everything's done going through the system, so that should be good. All right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's go lighting. A couple of weeks ago, trying to get this farm running a little bit better. Oh, um, it seems 
that these sorts of clocks are prone to desynchronization. So what I may end up having to do is uh, it, it is just set it up as a synchronous clock and suck it up. That it's not going to be as efficient because it's on half the time and off half the time. But uh, yeah, it might just have to be that way. So uh, I'm going to go look at uh, a couple of different versions of synchronous clocks and see what I can do there because uh, it doesn't look like that's going to get fixed anytime soon. Not as a asynchronous clock like that. Uh, it might not be as bad if we had that loaded in, um, in one of the spawn chunks or I did some admin magic to keep that farm loaded all the time. Because I deeply think that what it is, is it's getting into a state where it's flipped and it hasn't had a chance to continue the clock cycle when we go leave the area. And that is why it, uh, it never ends up quite looking right. So, oh well. I probably also ought to grab these guys. Although I don't know why I need to worry about that. Um, oh, that's right. The other thing that I want to do. Uh, okay, maybe not right this moment. Okay, good. You're not going to update. Sweet. Um, the other thing that I'm probably going to want to do at some point is use one of the resource packs. One of the uh, resource packs that's available that actually shows you light levels. I used it some in Season 0, if you were watching back then, to keep tabs on whether or not... Uh, it doesn't do much good to have uh, torches and not, you know, keep them on the hot bar. Matter of fact, you know, let me go ahead and do that right now. Let's go to options. For this resource pack to work, you have to be running Optify down there in the corner. And you need to turn off smooth lighting, which kind of stinks. And you go to the resource packs and it is uh, dramming over. Well, if you search for a monster spawning check, you should be able to find it. I love how in the description, turn smooth lighting off. Uh, even it, if you're running on a single player world, you want this to be the topmost resource pack. Obviously, because we have a uh, coffee craft world resource pack, it, it, you can't set it up. But uh, you can come pretty darn close. And what this does sometime the side of eternity yeah no this isn't portal not today not feeling it today everywhere where you see one of those uh, red reddish pink squares that is where the light level is low enough to actually spawn stuff whether you want it to or not I still got to get used to the chat being a little bit smaller and over on my right instead of really big on my left. I might have to I might have to just change that back anyway. But I, half the reason why I set up the extra monitor so that way I'd have the one on my left for references like the enchantment reference that I have sitting up right now and uh, and that sort of thing. All right. So yeah, those don't matter because they're ceiling blocks. Nothing's going to spawn on the ceiling. Uh, at least not with the way the game code currently is. Yikes. Moyang, don't get any ideas from that. Uh, you know, likewise, that little bit on the wall and that sort of thing there. Um, somewhere in here, there was a ginormous cavern. And... Uh, Okay, that's right. I also needed to I need to get my fortune pick on here. Because Rayest wants more cobblestone instead of smooth stone. Uh, on the off chance I... Yeah, I'll put the axe there just in case I do need it. And 
And see, now we got a spawnable spot, so I'll replace that torch there. We should be good. I just gotta remember that when I'm holding out the torch, you notice that uh, it changes the light level around me. So, uh, all right. I'm gonna mainly keep the silk touch up, just cause that's mostly what I need. Somewhere, somewhere there was a ravine. See, like that little corner there. We're gonna need something there, just in case. Um, hmm. Maybe we need a. No, that's just walking around in circles. Maybe we need. Uh, Maybe we need to uh, finish the thought. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is why there's no portal today. Because uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite uh, finishing thoughts too much. I have been musing a lot, though. Uh, it is not amusing, just musing. And <laughs> yeah, Tuesday's Tuesday's stream didn't go as well as I I really wanted to. Uh, I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't connecting. And, and for a variety of... It just... Wasn't as good. And so I spent a lot of time at work today thinking about the fact that uh, it's been... It's been a year since I started streaming. I didn't realize it had been that long, but it, yeah, it's been a little over one year because it was around March or April of last year that I started streaming on the Season Zero server. I'd gotten the server admin stuff. I'd uh, done enough building that I was feeling a little bit more comfortable with doing something you know, actually in front of people um, <laughs> and showing off what I'd built because yeah, some of the some of the stuff on the server before Season Zero, it was it was good in terms of what I had done previously. And that's about the only that's about the only way you could construe that as good. Alright, let me put those there. Just so that way there's uh I get that out of my inventory. Um so here I am a year later and I'm trying to figure out it, I probably shouldn't be thinking about this too hard after after a bad stream, but uh, you know, I'm I'm sitting here going, is it do I have a year's experience, or is it just a year later? Uh, that, that's kind of where my mind has been. When I used to work for the hospital, one of the classes I taught was nonviolent crisis intervention, and we talk about uh, what you need. It. One of the things we talked about, in the, one of the many things we talked about in the class, is the uh, the things you needed in a, an ad hoc team leader. You know, in other words, they. There would be situations that would arise where either it was unsafe for the patient um, or the staff or both. And so you're going to have to make an ad hoc team to deal with it. Uh, just, you know, on the spot, like, uh, oh, hey, <laughs> these are the people we got. Let's uh, let's take care of things. And yeah, so we talked to the class about, you know, what makes a good team leader. And of course, you get the usual answers like the person who's been there the longest, and the person with the most experience, and um, you know the lead charge, and that sort of thing. And um, that, that's where we had a really good, really good discussion about how um, normally, usually, generally, people who have been at a job longer do tend to be better for that sort of thing normally usually generally but raw years served oh i see we found uh where the lighting left off okay um raw years served is not necessarily a good metric for determining experience or a lot of other things for that matter uh, you know, just because you've been at it 15 years doesn't mean you have 15 years experience. Uh, some people just have one year experience repeated 15 years in a row. And I, I think you can see where this has kind of been going into my musings in no small part because of the quality of Tuesday's uh, stream. Or at least my part of Tuesday's stream. Um, 
you know, I, I'm sitting here going, do, do I have a year experience or are we just a year later? Um, oh, hi guys. This is the part that I don't like about the lighting thing. Oh, oh burning. <laughs> yeah, things like this where I need to suddenly multitask. Yeah, I still don't quite have those down. You know, and it's been it's been a year. I, I've had time to practice. Uh, I'm at a point where I could reasonably expect to be a little bit better at that sort of thing. Um, or at least I would think so. I am not entirely unprejudiced in that either. I am a hardcore perfectionist. I, I do um, require a little bit more. I have high standards. In particular for myself. Uh, and maybe to, maybe to an unhealthy extent, in some cases. Um. The twisty caves that all look alike. But, you know, uh, is it a year experience? Is it a year later? And... In some respects, it, it, is, it is a year, year experience. If you look at, um, yeah, the, the camera quality's gotten a little bit better. The lighting's a little bit better. Uh, not so much at the moment, because I've been playing with the lights, and I think in trying to make it better, I made it slightly worse. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. The, uh, you know, the, the backgrounds and graphics and stuff are about as good as they've been. So, it's not worse, it's just not necessarily better. You know, the audio quality stayed about the same. I haven't had a chance to... I, I, what I really ought to do is go listen to those first couple streams again. I don't know why I did that. I, I had no need to do that, but... Anyway, uh, you know, go back and listen to those first few streams again. Um, oh, is that, uh, is that another spawner? Fishing by the torches, somebody's already been here. Oh, hey, it's another spider spawner. Um, here, let's take it. All of it. I'll dump it into, uh, storage. I might keep that diamond armor for myself. Of course, I need a horse to put it on. Alright, uh, strings and seeds and buckets. And armor and music discs. And more gems. Ray has to be happy for that. Uh, let's put those in there. Let's just leave those for placeholders. Put the food back in place. Get another chest in there. Some zombie flesh. Okay, good. And, yeah, good. Alright, so where was I? Year better or a year later? That's, uh, <laughs> I still get awfully distracted like that, and I'm not sure if that's better or worse, or just one of those things. Um, audio stayed pretty good, for the most part. Uh, I've been holding off on some of the, the more advanced things I can do with the, the mixer. Like, I, I can definitely tweak it out. There, there's, um, reverb's not the right word. Um, there is something that still, I, I don't know, and, and this is where, this is what one of the problems I'm running into with a lot of this, is I know just enough to know that there's something to the audio that is not good. It is not of a quality level that I want to do. Uh, but I don't know what it is, and therefore cannot figure out how to fix it. Because if you can't fix it if you don't know what it is. Um, 
can't fix it if you because if you don't know what it is, then you don't even know what to uh, what to search for. You know, most 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 answers are a Google search away. Uh, the the catch to that <laughs> the the catch to that is uh, you got to know what to Google for. You know, knowing that all the answers are in Google doesn't help you when uh, you don't know what to search for. And so that's where I am with some of the some of the audio audio engineering bits. Is there, I know that there are things that I could be doing to improve it a little bit more because I know it's not quite where I want it. But I, I just I don't know uh, I don't know what it is that's bothering me. I don't know what it is that's not good enough. Um, I know I could do a little bit more uh, processing on the audio. But I also don't want it to sound so processed that you, you don't get a sense of uh, that it's actually um, a person, if that makes sense. Ooh, buddy. Hi. Did you burn to death? Or did you forget about me? Neither. Or is that your friend? There's a pit of fire over there. So does Sauron die now that I tossed you into a pit of fire? Or is that uh, something different? I think that's something different. Ooh, buddy. Oh, hi. something about that ledge uh give me a second to uh focus on this ledge here i am not gonna walk in front of the pit of fire that i have been sending creepers to their death in because sometimes i'm smarter than that some lapis down there though oh, oh. either that oh so we've already been over here somewhere somebody got this far interesting okay To check out that you know what I should have brought I should have brought some uh, potions of fire resistance I know I've got some around here somewhere but it's the somewhere that I can't quite remember matter of fact I got a couple of potions from uh, when we're gonna go take the fortress that would first get us to the end if I could remember where they were I think I got them in a shulker box in my ender chest somewhere um, yeah, oh, <laughs> for those of you that have been watching the live streams on the regular, you'll remember that we've been having some fun issues with the Player Graves data pack from, uh, Vanilla Tweaks. We've swapped it out for MC Voodoo Beards version, or I think it's just Voodoo Beards, and the MC Voodoo Beard, uh, domain is just for his... Minecraft stuff as opposed to the other projects he does Probably check and see if the coordinates I'm lighting up are even uh, part of the part of the system Oh, 
Well, that wasn't as bad as it could have been, but it wasn't as good either. Although I'm happy to have the gravel. Let's, uh, let's just keep lighting up this cave over here. Um, so anyway, yeah, we swapped out the, the data pack for the, uh, for, for the player graves from, uh, Vanilla Tweaks to the one that Voodoo Beard put together, which I, is kind of funny. Um, in trying to troubleshoot it, I ended up talking to, um, M-Space Dev over at, uh, Vanilla Tweaks. He happened to be on Discord when I was posting up our uh, little trouble ticket. And it, it was it's great that they are as responsive and wonderful about uh, issues as they are. And we got to the point in the troubleshooting where in order to fix it, I was going to end up having to nuke everybody's advancements and inventory. <laughs> uh, the inventory problem could be fixed just by telling everybody, like, hey, if it is on your person or in your ender chest, go go put it somewhere else. Um, but I really didn't want to nuke everything associated with the players. Um, that, that just, that, that wasn't sitting right. And, uh, so they're at a point where they don't really have the time or the resources to, uh, to keep poking around at some of the, the bugs that, like the ones we're running into because they're, they're, they're the sort of thing that takes a lot of time to look into and to uh, to figure out, you know, what is going on. Because they're complicated and gnarly and intricate and... Yeah. Time is a precious resource, especially when it's a spare, pro spare time project. And I totally get that. And I've totally been there. Um, literally, I've been down the hallway. Uh, also been, <laughs> been in the position where you got the side project that uh, you really want to do, but man... Spare time. Where do you find it? You know? And, and, and so... Uh, he had... Uh, I'm assuming it's a he. he. He had suggested that... Um, that I go ahead and try MC Voodoo Beards. And, or Voodoo Beards. And so that's what I ended up doing. So uh, we're back to using the data pack that we were using in the first half of Season 0. Uh... Which is fine. It's cool. That works. And, you know, Voodoo Beard does some good good, good stuff. We're missing a couple of features that we had before that were kind of nice. Um, let me, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot more of that coming. All right. Uh, lost the gravel in... Yeah, we got the cobble. Yeah, those, those will serve as placeholders for now. <clears throat> okay. I think I've been up there at least three times now. Now, I know a lot of people swear by leaving your uh, torches always on the right. That way you'll know which way is out by uh, which side the torches are on. And I've always thought that was a wonderful idea, and I've never managed to remember to do that. In no small part, because a lot of the caves I run into are so big and convoluted that you can't throw them all on the right and still have room to uh, light the entirety of the hallway. Oh! I thought there was somebody there. Ooh. Gotcha. Ooh, some nice loot too. All right, I need some stairs real quick. Oh. It's a party, and I didn't realize it. Hi, guys. Did any of you happen to leave ahead? No. 
badness. Yeah, so a hallway like that, you know, you can't leave the torches on the right and still have the hallway all lit. Um, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Put that that it's not going to get blown away by the water. And I guess technically I don't need to light it up. Nothing's going to spawn on the water, but just the same. It's always good to know that somebody's at least been there and seen what's on the other side. Um, let's get these guys anyway. I don't know what we <laughs> I don't know why I'm wasting time on, uh, on the iron ore. We got more iron than we know what to do with, so let me at least focus on the coal. Oops, I didn't mean to be fortuning that. I need to still touch that. Well, it's probably good that I have a little bit of raw coal so I can make some torches here in a little bit. Oh yeah, okay. Let's uh let's get this lit up before we start taking time to admire what's in the walls. Hi there, buddy. I'll come back to you. Is that all is down there? Well, I hear... I hear somebody. I don't know if it's just that guy that I left, uh... Floating down the waterfall, but... <laughs> Let me, uh, finish clearing this out real quick. Get some light on things. Sorry, I, I just noticed that pop up in chat. Yeah, my coffee idle brain does not make me think like a hoarder. The number of times that I've been looking for something and not had it available is what makes me think like a hoarder. <laughs> I, I, I think this is the most abundant... Um, I think this is the most abundant iron supply we've ever had on any of our servers and that that includes the time that I decided to see what some of the custom world generation would let you do and I, I played a little bit with the resource generation oh 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 there's two of you no there's three of you where did you get the bone never mind I don't want to know Let's, uh, let's get this lit up. Get this lit up. Somebody's here. I hear you. Should be gathering all these resources as I go too, but I might have to save the uh, the caving part of this endeavor for another time. Man, I wonder if I can figure out a way to get the water to stretch out just a little bit further. All right, let's silk touch that up real quick. not going to get me the effect I wanted. Alright, 
I'll have to come back for those guys another day. Um, I wasn't thinking too hard about how I get... Okay. I hear them. I hear the noises in the wall. Yeah, the, uh, the server that we ran before Season Zero was... I think we started it in 1.10? 1.11? So, somewhere in that ballpark. And uh, it was when you could still do custom world generation. Um, and you could play with all sorts of things like rate of this and frequency of that. And, and I decided... <laughs> yeah, we are all hoarders. Uh, and, and I decided to just go ahead and go, well, what happens if I crank this up a little bit higher and that up a little bit higher and oh, hello. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, oh my. That's, uh. Okay. I guess I got my work cut out for me over here. that one little bit of lit up area. Oop. That gets most of that. I'm still worried about whatever else is up there. Um, hmm. Oh. Oh my. There is a lot of here here. Before we starve to death. Uh, I know, I know, I know. We got more coal than we know what to do with. But. It's going to be that one time that we really need some coal and we're running just a little bit shy. Well, something just died in lava. Let's go somewhere we've already been. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So far, so good. Well, I'm going to have to empty my inventory here in a second. Um, after I get these guys. Yeah. Well, and these guys. Right. Okay. Back to, uh... Am I missing a cave? Oh no, there's another one up there.
Well, that's interesting. I know for a fact there's at least two people in chat by the <laughs> by that there's two people chatting, but my stats page has given me nothing. Oh my. Okay. Gonna have to keep looking at that. Alright, uh Let's get this stuff put away. Oh no, oh, not yet. some of the cobble, get rid of the string, and it's time to break out the other joker box. Now I need a place for the gunpowder and the boots, and that should be everything else there. I'll leave that coal there, pick that guy up there. Uh, while it is relatively safe, let me see if I can get, um... Users in chat. Oh, no, there it goes. Why, why did I have to refresh it? I, I gotta figure out why the Twitch panels don't update like they're supposed to. That's one of the, okay. That that is one of the things that's changed a lot since I started this a year ago too. Is um, for anybody that's been watching uh, since the beginning, I was originally multi-streaming using Restream.io. The idea being, I didn't want to get stuck in any one particular service. So I would simulcast to as many of them as I could. And in its way, that works out. Because I, I've had to slowly and steadily drop services as they've... Uh, as they've become less and less capable or ran into problems. Like originally, I was multicasting to... Uh, YouTube, Mixer, and Twitch all at the same time, which was kind of nice. Um, so I was getting a lot of the... Oh, hi guys. Do um, you mind killing the zombie for me? Thank you. Oh, oh. Distracting guys are distracting. They're going to keep... Uh, Oh. Come on. I have my shield up and everything. Seriously, guys. Give me a break. Oh. What the? I hear somebody burning to death. I don't know where from though. Or why. Okay. Uh, anyway. <laughs> now the distracting zombies are done falling on my head. Um, for the moment. I still hear them dying somewhere very nearby. And I find that very concerning. Especially since I need to light that block over there or get something on top of it. Alright, let's uh, let's do this then. Let's get that guy there. And that should get us out enough to toss that there. That's good enough for our purposes. Um, anyway. I was originally multi-streaming to YouTube, Twitch, and um, XSplit. I got a lot of uh, 
Xbox people coming from uh, XSplit. I, I say a lot. <laughs> when, when, when your total audience cap is usually about three people, uh, you know, that fourth person is a lot. Okay, it is really bothering me. I can hear... I can hear the guy dying out of the corner. Somewhere. I just can't tell where, and it bothers me that I don't know why he's dying. Unless I'm close enough to the surface that I'm hearing somebody die in the sunlight. Which would be something, too. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown so many extra temporary blocks in my, uh, storage there. Might have to grab a few in a minute. Alright, let's take the, uh... Yeah, there it is again. The Bridge of Uncertainty. That wasn't where I wanted one, but I'll take it anyway. Oh no, that's a visual glitch. All right, some cobble from the water. All right, um, get some more lights around here. Can I reach? There we go. All right, there's that. Are, are they falling into that lava? Okay. Hi. I see you over there. I'd like to not fall in the lava myself. Oh, yeah. I see you over there, too. Alright. Uh, let's try to get this area down here lit now. At least while the, uh... Nobody's going to fall up from on top of me. Alright, so far so good, alright. That spot bothers me, but because it's covered under lava, nothing's going to nothing's gonna spawn there. But you know what? Belt and suspenders. Check, double check, check one more time. There we go. Alright, um... Is that more down there, or is that just a tiny ledge? Oh, and this looks like a cave somebody's already started going down anyway. Oh, oh that... that was... That was very nearly bad. That was very nearly very bad. There we go. Hi. I have a fan club. Couldn't have timed that any better if I tried. I mean, how often do you aim for somebody in the distance and hit a bat? That, that, that's new. That's unique. I like that. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that just, that tickles. I like that. Alright, so we got some loot down there to collect. We got some nasty guys hoping I will jump down there and collect. 
Um, let's do this. Let's go to the other side here. And let's get some lighting up here so nothing drops on top of me. Um, uh, nothing up there is going to spawn on me. Okay. All right. Let's get some lights over there. Let's try to remember what I was talking about. I was talking about something, and it seemed awfully important at the time. Oh, multi-streaming. Because <laughs> uh, again, the a big part of uh, a big part of what's been going on lately is just uh, trying to trying to figure out if I'm actually making progress or not. And I originally started streaming to three services at the same time, uh, Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. Um, I ended up having to drop YouTube because they kept changing the login thing. And it just, it, it was not working with Restream. Uh, not consistently and not well. I, I was very frequently running into situations where... Um, where the day I was going to stream, I would get a weird login problem. There we go. Uh, get those. And so, you know, I, I'd end up with, we can't log into the service, yada, yada, yada. You go through the reset, you go through the, all, all the, all the stuff to, make it work and it'd be fine for a little while and then it stopped working and then it'd be fine for a little while and then it stopped working and then it got to the point that uh, it just it never worked not once not at all okay that wasn't what I intended to do but that works Oh, oh. Hi. Anytime I want those little buggers, I can't get them to generate. But, you know, the one time that I really don't need one, that's when they show up. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, let's get back on this. So I ended up having to cut YouTube because YouTube Live wasn't working, and as far as I can tell, it, it's it never showed up on it never showed up on the page correctly, and there there is just nothing but problems. Oh, well, due to a glitch, I can tell that I'm somewhere under the storage system. <laughs> That's good to know. Okay. Um, yeah. So I ended up... I, and then for quite some time, I was using both Twitch and Mixer. And depending on the game I'd play, I get a little bit from Mixer. I've got the usual traffic from Twitch. That that part hasn't, you know, throughout this whole experiment, throughout this whole endeavor, uh, the one thing that's remained pretty constant is uh, Twitch, <laughs> which kind of makes me nervous because I don't like having one company as the sole everything of my online everything. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I get nervous when one company, if they... What was that about? Okay. So, you know, if for whatever reason, Twitch decides that my channel needs to go on hold or come down or whatever, um, that's it. What else am I going to do? 
I can go to Twitch, or I can go to Twitch, or I can go to Twitch, and that's, uh, that's the end of that. And I, I get very nervous about that, although, right now, that is precisely where I'm at, because Mixer was getting really weird with their policies, and I wasn't getting enough, enough traffic to, to make it worth keeping. Um, although honestly, by the metric, uh, none of this is worth keeping because I'm not getting much in the way of traffic at all. Uh, at least not yet. And that too is part of why I'm wondering, uh, is it me? Am I just a year later? Because b surely by now I should have at least, uh, at least, you know, two, three, four... Regulars. But on the other hand, I haven't exactly been pushing my channel. I haven't been going into, you know, the Minecraft Reddit and, and pimping my vids and talking about, you know, oh yeah, by the way, do you want to watch a live stream? You know, uh, you know, sing a couple of choruses of Do You Want to Build a Channel? Um, <laughs> some to the tune of uh, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? No, uh, I won't do that to you. His voice is good for a great many things. Singing is not one of them. Oh. Is there an easier way to get across here? Probably was. All right. All righty then. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you say I'm doing good, but again, I'm looking at the numbers and I'm not not getting anywhere. But I haven't been pushing it. I uh, I had plenty of time to work on it. You know, I, I simultaneously tell myself, you know, I I don't know how guys like Impulse do it when they're working full time just like I am, but they're still producing the content. And part of it's because, uh, you know, when a sad Monday rolls around. They're not sitting, sitting there. He's actually working on, uh, working on some content. Yeah, I could have had a video about that guardian farm out a lot sooner. I could have been working on that a lot more. Uh, I could have been working on that yesterday, to be honest. If I'm being truly honest with myself, uh. That is that is where a lot of the frustration lies is with me, um, just not uh, not quite. You know, I, I can either just sit back, enjoy it, and whatever happens to come my way happens to come my way. But I would like to do a little bit more with this. You know, it's hard to give back to the community if you're, you're just over here doing nothing in particular. And I've enjoyed so much from some of the other content producers. I'd like to give a little something back. Um, if I can help the Vanilla Tweaks guys with their problems with the Gravestone data pack, that would, you know, that would be a contribution. I need to learn a little bit more about data packs anyway, because I still have that, uh, that coffee data pack that I'd like to add. I would love to be able to add, uh, coffee to the game. So have a bush like the, uh, like the sweetberry bushes. Yeah, I just have a, you know, uh, uh, do you want to call that a coffee berry bush? Um, I mean, technically, coffee is made from, uh, from berries. Yeah, I, I want to keep it, uh, real enough that it's fun, but not so real that it's too much work to make it worthwhile. So, you know, harvest the little coffee berries and then, uh, keep thinking about doing it as a, um, a potion ingredient. Alright, let me uh, empty some of this inventory stuff. Alright, that, uh, that everything. Alright, that's everything that'll fit in that box. Let's see what we can toss into this box. No, no I wanted to 
keep that. And yeah, I'll put that there for now. That right there for now. Okay, nice and clear. And I think I'm starting to circle back around again. Uh, anyway, so coffee berries, maybe have that be a potion ingredient. Um, although, ditch the nether wart requirement. And just set it up so that way, you know, instead of making you smelt the berries and then using the cooked berries, um, as fun as that would be and as much realism as that would add, uh, I'm not sure that's, uh, I'm not sure that's the kind of fun you want to have the, with, with the game. I mean, maybe it is. Some people absolutely love that kind of, uh, that level of extra realism. Um... And maybe that's what I do, is I just uh, open source it so that way, if you really want to complicate it that much, go for it. Nothing's stopping you. Um, hey. This looks familiar. Not where we started. Alright, let me, um, uh, option, let me pull the resource pack off since we're out here. Enjoy a little bit of my forgotten drink. <laughs> Absent-minded indeed. Well, I'm running low on torches. And those two boxes are getting kind of full. And we're only an hour in. Let me detour over to storage, unload that, and uh, then go from there. Actually, let me also do one other thing and not waste the ender. Oh, I need arrows. Or maybe I need to run around and make an infinity bow. I don't usually like those, but uh, when you're caving like that, it is awfully nice to not run out of ammo. Alright, um. Wall, water, water, wall. This might actually still be right, because that should be open for this long. And we should get a flush happening soon. Almost out of time. Oh, there we go. So flush. That should be a short, just long enough to push a critter down. Okay. Huh. I think that's the first time that I've since I've built this. I think that's the first time I've checked on it, and it's actually not been flipped. And, and yeah, that is kind of nice. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's why we're running low on uh, terracotta. Rayas has been working on the exterior here. <laughs> it's good. It's all good. All right, let's uh, pop that there. Pop that there. Let's drop. Those guys in there. That's going to take a while to run through the system. It is kind of fun to watch, though. I don't know if you can see it up there. Oh, there go the items. Still got to space those out a little bit better. All right, let me grab 14 sticks. Carefully. If I were rest, where would I put sticks? Uh, that works. There we go. And what else do I need? Oh, arrows. I also need to figure out why that armor stand is interfering with getting at that box. I gotta get right up on there. There's an invisible armor stand using the armor stand data packs that's holding that arrow there. Because if you'll notice, we got uh, whatever is there. So, like, there's our sandbox. There's our dirt, there's our gravel, our grass, cobble, 
it really irks Reyes that she couldn't put the dirt and the grass next to each other. But uh, if we did that, the grass would spread to the dirt and we wouldn't know which one was the dirt box. And our fancy stones and these two, three, four. These four are reserved for anything we feel like we need to start doing bulk storage on. That is kind of fun. Okay, no, I'm not going to make this a stream about staring at the items as they go through. Um, all right, what else? Um, I came here. Drop that off. What else? Oh, that's empty. Nope. Oh. Okay, that works. Hmm. Trying to speed things up by tossing a bunch of items directly into the bigger chest. That is now empty. That is about to be empty. Alright, we got that, we got that. Huh. Yeah, fixing this guy is still on my to-do list. That data pack is still on my to-do list. Uh, oh, did Reyes fix the lighting in here? Or no? Probably should, um... Options, resource packs. Let's, uh... While we're here... Back to the game. Oh. Oh, she moved these guys in one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, no, because we got the lighting up there. Although, that corner... I don't think anything can spawn in there because it's one high. Since we got the, uh, the... Whatchamacallit's in the corner there. So we should be good on that. Uh, I know I know that technically in a one high space a baby zombie could spawn, but if I remember right, the way the algorithm what the algorithm does is it looks for a regular zombie, and then if a regular zombie can spawn, it'll then convert it to a baby zombie. That's how that's why the creeper farm doesn't also produce baby zombies, because uh, it checks for the adult first, and then a percentage chance it'll turn into a baby. So that should be good. And that should be good. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe Reyes will want to spread out the lighting anyway, just for the sake of spreading it out. <laughs> Everything else in here looks good. go back and uh, turn off that guy. I'm going to leave the smooth lighting on because I do plan on going back down into the caves to see if I can spot anything else that needs to be lit up once uh, once the items are done going through the uh, processing. I should probably also sleep. It's been a little while since I slept. I gotta remember to stay in the area. I never did figure out just how far away from this thing you can wander and uh, have it still have it still work. Um, okay, no, it's still working. Going through a backlog of stuff. working through. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Is it going 
through gravel? Oh, that must be it. No, because there's gravel there to pull through. Unless it's going through gravel and there's other stuff in between that gravel. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Does it? Nah, doesn't matter. Oh. Okay, so this is going to be the outside wall. We got lighting. So I can still get back in here. I can still get up here. I got just enough space. Huh, I didn't realize that slowed things down. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I should go back to using uh, a chest to align things. Nah. This is fine. For the most part, it works exactly the way we want to. That is so fun, though. Goes up the bubble column. Cross down here. If it doesn't get picked up by any of these guys here, it'll fall down there. Go through that stream and into this spot here. And if you like to be mesmerized by blinky lights, there you go. <laughs> Everything you could possibly want. Just wait until more stuff ends up heading that way. Uh, I'll, I'll come back in a minute when we get to some of the stuff that's stored a little bit further on. Wool Farm has been uh, absolutely fantastic. This has been one of those things that uh, I, I it worked way better than I expected. Um, I thought this was going to take forever for these guys to fill up, and it took a couple of weeks. Just a couple of weeks of being here, keeping the keeping the area loaded, and uh, mm, they glow. Okay. <laughs> oh, we definitely got to get a block in here. Um, a while back, I ended up having to put an iron fence here because I needed to uh, sleep. And there was a raid party, uh, a pillager party, that was down here stuck in the redstone. They, they had all just kind of wandered up into this corner and were just chilling here. And uh, yeah, that was no fun. This is a little dark and foreboding, but that's okay because uh, these are all slabs, so nothing can spawn there. sad puppy. I love it. Uh, oh, yeah. One of the other things I need to do, not going to worry about it for season one, but uh, definitely, definitely for season two, uh, I'm going to have to work on updating the painting textures because some of the Java pictures like that one work out really good. Some of them, like that one, are... Not so much. I mean, he's cute. You can tell it's Jova, but it's a very, very pixelated Jova. <laughs> I think heard his name because I heard the collar jingle like he was looking for me. All right. How uh, much longer we got before we get? Okay. So the last few items are making their way through there. been all over the place. That that has been part of the problem too. Uh, one of the things that I really really need to do is get a project board together with um, you know short term plans, mid mid range plans, long term plans, uh, the different project types that I want to get going, that sort of thing. Um, basically, take the stuff from from when I was programming and take those project management tasks and implement them towards the Minecraft. That that would probably help. Um, that, that, that at least help organize the chaos a little bit. I don't know if it'll help me get things done any quicker, but it'll help organize the chaos a little bit. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. Hi, Jova. I guess you heard me talking about you. Um, although... My project management skills are slightly suspect. It's one of the two classes that I did not get an A in <laughs> in college, the other being calculus. 
which does not bode well for the uh, technical redstoning. As I'm watching, uh, you know, some El Mango videos, and he's going through the math. Um, uh, granted, most of what he's going through is basic algebra, so it shouldn't be that bad. Looks like the last of the items that went through there, that is empty. Doesn't look like there's anything else shooting up. Nope. Okay. Good. We're just going to wait for these two lights to, to go dark, and then we can go back to caving. I will have to... Fix those guys a little bit. But I might do that when I get the levels for the book. I need to enchant up a, a crossbow just, you know, because. And I think I might, as much as I, as much as I like the uh, mending bow, which is my usual go-to for everyday carry, I might put together an infinity bow for caving and projects like that. Just so that way I don't have to carry quite as many arrows with me. I couldn't remember if this one had punch, and it does. And I, as much as I don't like chasing enemies down, it, it is nice for those situations where you don't want to go chasing somebody around. Although, honestly, I guess uh, instead of the bow, I could always use my trident, too. I, I'm just worried. It, it took me so long to, uh, to get that guy. Kind of... <laughs> All right, let's put that back. Uh, let's get this guy back. Put these in here for now. This is supposed to be my backup armor set. So backup shields, backup swords, helmets, chest, legs, feet, and then uh, some of the archery stuff. Oh, that's right. Put those in my backpack, which is where I normally keep uh, the stuff I want easy access to. If I could remember that that's where I put the stuff that I want easy access to. I still haven't come up with a fancy name for my trident, by the by. So, if you have any recommendations for a funny or ironic name for a trident, uh, please... Feel free to, uh, to toss them in in the chat. Um, yeah, I, I've got my uh, fire aspect, <laughs> Gladius of Ice Smell Burning. Um, I haven't finished building it yet, but I usually have a Smite 4 sword that, that's called Smite Makes Right. Um, I've usually got a Spider Slayer or something along those lines. Um, and then maybe a sword that doesn't have uh, looting, so that way I can use it in the mob farms where uh, I just want the XP, but I don't want double the loot. Like, we've got a little Enderman farm over in the end, and um, it's nice, it's fun, but it would also be nice to... Um, oh, wow. I didn't realize we had that much iron ore. Oh, and that much coal ore? Uh, if I were rest, where would I put the coal? Oh my. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I might, uh, might take a minute to go fortune all that coal. I know that we got all, I oh know, tons of iron ore. Uh, arrows are harming. Huh. going to put that in my box. I'm going to keep that for myself. I'll toss it in my mailbox for now. <laughs> okay. Does, okay. Yeah. Okay. Rhea still has a bunch of mail. <laughs> Always. It's like that's her own little personal storage space. There we go. <laughs> Programmer's dinner fork. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I like it, but I'm not wanting to go with the the chefy chefy dinner fork.
And, and I feel like the, the fork thing's a little overdone. I don't know. I could probably go with a tuning fork. <laughs> Stolen from Aquaman. <laughs> Although here, here's what I need. I still need to find Impaling 5. Um, I might have to, I might have to go uh, do a pillager raid of my own and see if Medic has any impaling books that he'd be willing to part with. Um, because impaling is the one the one enchantment on this thing that I did not... I wasn't able to get. And I don't think there was an impaling in here. Multi-shot, fire, piercing, looting, yada yada. Nope. And none of these guys are cool enough to sell impaling. We got all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Alright, do we have 11 in here? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And eventually I'm going to have to uh, get some more carrots from these guys too. All right, we are ready to go back down into the depths. We are ready to go back down into the depths. Let's see if we can actually uh, find some more darkened spaces. Although, I'm curious now. Since this has probably been in range to be loaded, since we've been down underneath, is this producing any better? No. Or maybe it is. I don't know how much gunpowder was in there before, so let's do this. Let's empty all the gunpowder. I don't know why there's two scaffolding in there, but we'll take that out too. Um, and uh, let, let's go put that in storage for now. And then see what we end up with at the end of, a, at the, end of the stream. Um... A little bit of a stretch there. Alright. Let's give it a half hour. Somewhere back here is the cave to go back down. Although, do I want to find... Do I want to find the hole that I went down before? Or keep working on that cave? Hmm. Although, while I am thinking about it. We are going to want to throw some lights down here. Just to keep stuff from spawning in there. Reyes is probably going to want to either level that or cover up. I want to say that she's planning on building her zoo somewhere around these parts. Oh, never mind. That has plenty of lighting. Let's not jump in the random hole in the ground. Looking for the hole in the ground that I came out of a minute ago. It's been so long, I've forgotten already. All right, let's just take the uh, let's just take the other way. Let's head back down this way. Let's go back to the resource packs, add the spawning check. <laughs> Thanks. I thought the kitchen was left. Alright. Although interesting that... It 
Rast isn't showing as one of the people watching. Again, my Twitch panels are uh, out of sync with the way things are at. Alright, uh, I know that's been pretty well checked. This way... No. No, because I see the little moderator panel, and it's got Arcadius listed in there. Oh! Well, I guess I found a place that uh, still is spawning critters. Hi, little buddy. Seriously? Two of the little guys? Oh! 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 His dad. Oh! And his big brother. Oh! Three of them? Yo! Oh, whoa! 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 Seriously? What was that all about? Oh, I should probably eat something. Is there water in nearby? Or am I going to burn to death? Oh, <laughs> Here I am sitting there just burning to death. Oh, well. Resigning myself to my fate. And, uh, oh... There was a spot right there. Right there. Uh, how's the gear holding up? Gear's holding up fine. Refreshed by the XP of my enemies. Seriously. Where are you guys coming from? That spot up there? Is this one of those things that because they have nowhere else to spawn, they're, they're just going to like massively roll in? from somewhere over there. At least I think it's over there. Where did you where did you even come from? Uh, and where did you come from? There shouldn't be anything over there. That should be all nice and lit. Oh, except that one spot. That one block. Right there. That one block right there. We'll throw that one right there. Looks like we uh, missed a few spots on our last go around. Oh, and something up there. Oh, oh. Seriously. Ah, uh, I'll come back for you later. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I guess I'm coming back for you right now. Yep. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Nope, you can just go away. <sighs> well, it looks like I might get a chance to test out the uh, new player graves thing. <laughs> Especially the way this one's going. Oi. somebody oh oh hi guys
I don't think I would have found this one if I hadn't uh, randomly heard some zombies spawning. Lovely. I wonder how many of these caves there are floating around, too. That, that is... Uh, oh. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh. That's it. That little spot. Fine. Why is there a random chicken down here? Tridents and shields don't necessarily work together. So let it be noted. Oh, no, we did need a torch there. Okay. Alright. I hear lots of them. Oh, oh, hi. I'm hearing the guy right behind me. <sighs> okay. You know, maybe I'm starting to think badly about having a flaming sword. I usually like them. Nice to have the extra day. Ah, yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, I... Are you kidding me? For anybody who is wondering why uh, we had many deaths on the last lighting tour, this is why. <laughs> Lot, lost track of the, the talking there for a minute, sorry about that, but uh, it, it was literally a uh, life or death issue. Oh my. Hello, friends. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you get that arrow from, anyway? Never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> Is that all this down there? Okay, that is all that's down there. Oh yeah. I hear more. I just I can't tell from uh from what direction. Alright, not that direction. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
There you are. Um, there are a few of you are. No, well, I mean, it is always nice to have a chainmail suit somewhere. Um, is there something hidden behind that waterfall? There is. And behind that hole, there's another hole. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Um. Nope, that's back. Okay. Wow. And here I was thinking that we had finally come pretty close to getting this one knocked out. Here I was thinking we'd gotten pretty close getting all the lighting squared away. <sighs> oh my. <laughs> now here's the real kicker. Am I going to be able to find this place when it comes time to uh, get down here next? I wonder if I could, uh... Oh, yeah. Actually, you know, that's what I ought to do. I ought to build a giant rubber ducky in concrete and, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. I could build a, uh... A wool. A little rubber ducky out of wool. Put him over on the beach. I've got some beachfront property over by my, uh, base. All right. I, th I think the actual caving part of this is going to definitely have to happen another time. I'm just, well, except for the redstone. Definitely want to make sure we get all the redstone. Um, <laughs> and actually leave some of it as that redstone ore because you can use the raw redstone ore in, um, in some Minecraft uh, machines and some redstone contraptions. Because the redstone ore actually goes through a state change when you interact with it. Which makes it rather unique. Oop. Okay. Um, how much jumping do I feel like doing? Not that much. Oy. Hi. Did, did I run into the zombie civilization? Oh, hi there, friend. There's a little bit of light from somewhere. Oh! Oh my! Oh, that's it, that's it. Shoot each other. Shoot each other! I'll take on the victor. Those are the kinds of fights I like to get in. <laughs> Where they've beat on each other enough that uh, I don't have to do that much. Hello, friend. We meet again. Um... Oh. 
I got a problem. I need more torches. I thought I had enough. Alright, um... Let's fortune these guys. Should have okay. I still got a couple of oak logs in there. <laughs> I need a little more coal. All right, I'll have to remember that. Oh, hi. say hello but uh then I'm gonna start humming that stupid song ooh hello diamonds uh huh how good is my ender pearl toss Not that good. All right. Needed the coal anyway. stop the lava flow because that is actually lighting up a surprising amount of this. Alright, um... Oh. oh. That toss went further than I thought it would. Alright. Lighting first. Because uh, <laughs> of stuff like that. Seriously, guys? Oh, never mind. All that stuff can go down there. I'm not following it. Alright, uh... Huh. Back to the diamonds. Oop. Funny noises. You know where this is not going? This is not going back to the diamonds. I need to do. Not be rest and actually eat, but um, where do my carrots go? Oh, there's my carrots. I was like, please tell me I didn't accidentally throw them. Oh, that would that would be so. Oh no no no! I don't even want to. Not count, not even contemplating it. Nope 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 nope. This is me not doing anything, not saying anything. All right. So I've been here. Let's, uh, one, right? That should be two. That should be three. That should be four. All right, let's get somewhere safer standing. Yep, sweet. Four diamonds. 
or four diamond ore I should say and it's not four diamonds until I go fortunate somewhere safely hmm all right all right where's next then I know I saw a couple of spots down that way Is this it? Is this all there is? Oh, there I am out of torches again. Alright. That'll do me for just a little bit longer. Careful with this pearl toss. So far, so good. And is that everywhere? No, nope. I need to get some lighting up here. It is only by sheer luck that something hasn't fallen on top of me. And if I had something happen through sheer luck, <laughs> you know that it is well and truly lucky. Let's sit over there, let's sit over there. Looks like there could be something up there. Let's find out. Are you kidding me? Guys, for serious. Arr, arr, nope. Just as long as I'm not near the lava edge. <sighs> oh my. Um. Hi. Torches leave the center that wide open. Yikes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Oh my. Okay. That's a negative Ghost Rider. Oh, are you kidding me? That that that's that's bad timing. That's bad timing on an epic level. I mean, that's funny, but the uh, record fell into my inventory before my trident did. Well, a good thing. Kind of forced me to check my inventory. I'm gonna have to do something about that real quick. thinking it was just going to be, you know, another another stack-ish. That should be more than enough, right? Alright. Hmm. 
Let's, uh, let's get some stuff in storage. And hope we can hear the bad things before they happen. Alright, uh, da 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 You know, I ain't gonna be particular. Let's just get all that stuff in storage. Except the torches. Those I need. Yeah, those I need to make more of. Oh wait, no, 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 I thought I saw a stack of, uh... Yes! I got a stack of spare torches. Caves and caving and all, but this is uh, this is a whole new level of special. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I emptied my inventory. three of them. Alright, I like the fact that using a trident means you don't have to worry about our ammo, but uh, oh, you uh, so you found a spot up there. between tosses is uh, not fun. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Oh dear. I'm gonna start sounding like a piglet here. Oh dear. Are so good. Yeah, no. They're, they're <laughs> there sure were a lot of them, too. sure is a big cavernous ravine right there. <laughs> uh, hmm. All right, you know what? Let me just uh, get a screenshot of uh, those coordinates and <laughs> see if I can make my way back. While I'm at it, let me uh, get some coal so I can make some more torches. <laughs> I'm down to my last 27. And if I keep seeing big, easy to light areas like this on the way back, I'll at least take care of those guys. I'm holding my breath because it's uh, it's definitely one of those. Uh, yeah, I feel like that western where the one guy looks at the other and goes, "It's quiet." Yeah, 
too quiet. Oh. Hello. Thank you for vindicating me. That's it. Stay over there. All the way over there. There we go. You, you can just... You can just... Die over there. Long distance. It's okay. I'm more than happy to reach out and touch someone. Starting to run out of spare resources. I may not have been as well equipped as I had hoped. <laughs> or as I had thought, at least. Alright, does that loop around up there? Just when you thought you'd, you'd finally uh, plumb the depths of uh, how bad this lighting is. That creeper farm better be producing more after all this. Alright, I'm making my way up, which is good. I'm looking for a way out of here. Okay. I am sorely, sorely tempted to just dig straight up and see where that gets me. That's usually a very, very bad idea. Uh, so is digging under that, uh, oop. under that gravel, because the, the, those little moats falling down from there mean that that is ready to fall down on me, and I'd just as soon not do that. I've had enough pain and misery on this misadventure. Um, there. This is down, though. I want to be going up. I want to be going out. I still wonder why my out seems sounds so Canadian. Couldn't have been all that CBC that uh, I watched as a kid. Because <laughs> most of that was British. They didn't hire too many Canucks to be on uh, Are You Being Served? Or Doctor Who. Okay, uh, time to make some more torches. Actually, <laughs> I know another way I could light this. I've got that, uh, I've got that flint and steel. And we've got fire tick turned off. Which means that fires don't naturally extinguish and they don't spread. So I could just keep running around here flint and steel and setting fires and just let those light the area. The only problem with that is you end up running into that one guy who pushes you into your own fire. And uh, burning to death on your own fire is not usually the, uh, the most noble and valiant uh, ending you can reach as an adventurer. Okay. I can I can think of much better ways to go than uh dying on your own fire. Matter of fact, I much prefer not to die at all. That would be the best of all possible worlds. On the best of all possible servers. Since I'm probably gonna need it, let's uh, fortune some more of this. I'll give it a chance. Give a chance for the XP to heal up some of my armor and my shield too. Yeah, there we go. That that helps. <laughs> that helps. 
top off the hunger bar there. So far, so good. There's a part of me that wouldn't mind uh, modding in a hearthstone like uh, World of Warcraft. You know, a little touchstone with a cooldown. So anytime you instantly wanted to go back to uh, the community center, you could just... Sorry. I like gold. All right. Um, so that way, anytime you wanted to get back to the uh, community center, <laughs> you just use the, your hearth back. Uh, you'd have to work out a cooldown, though. In some way to, to set the center. Although, honestly, it, that, that sounds like what they're trying to do with the, uh, the new, one of the new blocks in the upcoming update. I haven't been keeping up with uh, the snapshots as well as I, I want to. But time and... Oh! Oh! Seriously! You, you're bad enough without the armor. I think I've got a non-flaming version of the sword, and I might just switch to it. I'm getting tired of getting set fire by the guy that I'm trying to knock off. Oh. Hi, guys. Oop. Yep, that's it. Remain blissfully unaware. All the way down there. Okay, this is still down. This is the opposite of the direction I'm trying to go. Although I see a couple of lit blocks. Does that mean I'm circling back around to some place I've already been? No, I'm just circling back around to lava. Hmm. I'm lost. Look, if I find a minotaur in here, or a centaur, uh, I'm, I'm turning this around. Ooh, that, that might not be a bad one. Oh, hi. Alright, fine. We'll have it your way. At least if you can get the shield up in time, it uh, muffles the blast. I think that's the bottom of the pit I was just staring down. This... This does not look safe. Yeah, this looks all sorts of not safe. Oi, oi. Hi. I've never been happier that you can't go, uh push through water. Um, anyway, yeah, you'd have to worry about a proper cooldown and a way to set things up. I know you got the, 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 um, oh, what's the stupid thing? Oh, oh this is underwater. Okay. Well, that has the benefit of not needing to be lit, but. Okay, that works. Hmm. That's not out. Hmm. <laughs> I 
Do you know how to get out, little buddy? No. Do you know how to be helpful? No. Alright, running low on these guys, too. Nothing's going to spawn there anyway. Because that's covered in water. Let's get a little bit more of this while we're at it. And let's grab this while we're at it. Uh, let's waste another ender pearl. That probably gets us out of here quicker. Maybe. Alright. <laughs> I still... That's... That's a lot of cave. Oh, jeepers creepers. Oh! Hi. closer than it had any right to be. Oh my. Um, much for two hours and just, you know. That should finish off the rest of that valley. To the abyss we go again. The opposite of the direction I wanted to go. But the lighting needed to get done. Um. Oh. 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 Hello there. Friend. You gonna poke around the corner again? Poke around the corner one more time. You know you want to. Oh. I wasn't expecting your friend there either. You guys can see me over there, can't you? Oh, oh, oh. There's somebody with pointy arrows. Ah! Oh, that was almost bad. Oh, that, that was almost very, very bad. Okay. Well, that has the benefit of being somewhere I've been before. That's... That is a deep, dark ravine. I, I'm pretty sure that's the same one that I was looking at a minute ago, so... Um, That is the benefit of being familiar. I recognize nearly dying here. <laughs> oh, 
Pokemon. All right. I am seriously very close to just uh, starting to dig straight up and taking my chances. All right. No, wrong direction. Well, except for the gold. No, 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 no. I'll get that later. Another time. All right, this is not... I don't think this gets me back. Gets me more cave lit up. All right, uh, maybe I saw this spot already. Hmm. up some more coal. <laughs> I think I'm going to need it for torches. I'm good until the food runs out. No, this is not the way I wanted to be going. That is not out. This at least has the virtue of being up. to be lit. Let's uh let's see how many birds we can get with the same stone. Oh. That went a little bit better. zombies oh my mm, okay that's still lit uh, how am I in coal all right I, I get enough coal for the moment who am I kidding I could always use a little more this appears to be the same valley I keep crisscrossing the valley start going down that I'm I'm never gonna find my way back. Alright, um <laughs> Alright, since the rest of the stream would just be me getting lost on my um uh, oh, I've at least been to that cave. I hear somebody. Is there a room over here somewhere? Or am I 
hearing somebody down below. So I could be hearing somebody on the ledge below me. That was it. I was hearing somebody on the ledge below me. Yeah, I got coal. What's uh what's down this way? A dead end. Alright, uh <laughs> so many of you. Okay, no, that's just the way the ledges look. Alright, uh... Alright, this is where I'm gonna very quickly say thank you for joining along. Sorry it's not the Portal Games Revisited that I normally do on Thursdays. Uh, just wasn't wasn't feeling it and so what I may do is if I'm feeling a little bit up to it tomorrow I will do the games revisited tomorrow instead um, and <laughs> yeah it, it's a little more a little more mellow a little more low-key a lot rambly and, and I kind of apologize for that too I guess I'm overdue for a rambly solo solo trip through Minecraft, through Coffee Craft. Um, normally, I do Coffee Craft on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and normally the rest of the server is on with me, and we have all sorts of fun together. So if you, if you like Minecraft and you like a small family Let's Play Survival, come check us out. CoffeeCraft.us has links to all the members and their various channels, or those that have them. And normally Games Revisited is on Tuesdays. Either way, if you haven't already, please do follow along on Twitch so you get notified when I go live. And in the link in the description uh, is the YouTube channel. Go over to the YouTube channel and follow there if you have not yet. Uh, subscribe there because I'll post up the live stream replays if you ever want to watch them again. Or if you like, um, if, if you like, uh, you know certain clips or things definitely go over there it'll get posted later and it's also where i post up episodes and the games revisited stuff so have fun enjoy and i'll see you next time